line. So they won't pick up a fourth. First down will be fourth down for the Camarillo Scorpions, and the Buena Bulldogs have risen to the occasion. They uh, look there for a minute like, like Camarillo was just going to march right down and score. It will be fourth down. Well, they're not a, it was a good play. They lined up uh, short side of the field and they uh, slot out right. They ran a screen to the tight end, uh, number 85, Mark Camper. But uh, number 33 from Buena had an excellent uh, play there, stopping the screen. They had blockers out in front, but he weeded right through and made a hell of a play. Number 64, the Dana Gibson coming up. Dana Gibson is the one who made the play. Looks like Camarillo will be going for a field goal. The ball will be on the 11-yard line. He'll kick it from about the 13, and we'll call it the 12-yard line. It's fourth down. Number 64 for the Camarillo Scorpions. Doing the kicking is Steve Pinto, 5'11", 185-pound junior from Camarillo. And number 12, Jim Price, second-string quarterback, will be holding the ball. The ball is down, good, through the upright. And it looks like Camarillo takes an early lead here. We're not sure of the time, but Camarillo takes an early lead, three to nothing. Got a lot of foot in that. I think he can go some distance later on in the game if they need him. Looks like he had plenty of room to spare. So, with early in the broadcast here, three to nothing in favor of the Camarillo Scorpions. And they'll be kicking off to your left-hand side. As soon as, the, uh, as soon as the Bulldogs from Buena get out and get set, we'll tell you exactly who will be there to, to receive the ball. No, they no, they didn't get a touchdown, Sam. It looks like they were they moved down the field rather easily. They sure did, Woody, and I think that's rather important on your opening drive to get your confidence on your offense to start off like that, especially the first game of the season. That was a very impressive drive. They started from, what, their own 20-yard line? Their own 28-yard line, yes. Right, so they got a good 68-yard uh, march there. So the man who kicked for the field goal, number march. 64, Steve Pinto, will be kicking the ball. 72 yard marks. That's 72 yards. <laughs> <laughs> I used my math there. Got to bring those calculators home this evening. Receiving the ball will be number 22, Chris Gooch. He'll get the ball. He drops the ball. He's going to fall on it. Gets up. He's about the 20, 21, 22 yard line. They're going to call it back. His knee touched the ground while he was picking the ball off the ground. So they called the referee made a wise decision there. And Call the play dead. So it'll be first and ten. We'll call it the 17 yard line for the Buena Bulldogs. Starting offensively for Buena tonight will be number seven, Matt Michelle. Number 21, it will be at a running back position. That's Sean Zintz. At fullback will be Mike Hernandez. At wide receiver, number 81, Scooter Coleman. At another wide receiver, number 84, Matt Fawcett. So Michelle brings his troops out in the 17 yard line, first and ten in the first play of the 1982 season. The give is to, we're not sure who the give was to, but he was dropped behind the line of scrimmage for about a two, three yard loss. It'll be second down and about 15 yards. Lost about four, we'll call it. They're going to mark it on about the 14 yard line. Camarillo lined up real tight on defense and they came after him on the first play. Winner trying to run off tackle and they got uh, Collins 25 in the backfield. Fine play by Camarillo. It'll be second down and about 14 yards. Michelle keeps the ball around the right side. He's going to pick up good yardage out to about the 24-yard line. So he decided to keep it for himself that time. It'll be third down. We'll talk about, uh, about third down and four. Coach Olji said that he was going to run different formations and make it wide open. That time, the first series, of that, uh, first play, they ran eye formation. This time, they went to the wishbone, and they ran a series off tackle there. Was Coach a fine Oldie, run. Coach Oldie, excuse me, Sam. Coach Oldie said he was he called this offense a junk bone offense. <laughs> and the wishbone now. Michelle has the ball out on about the. At Scooter Coleman. Sure that uh, one of Bulldogs will kick this one away. They tried a basic looking pass to their wide receiver there, and uh, Michelle just uh, let him a bit too much. It'll take him a couple of. Uh, Couple of downs to get his arm. Right. Threw a fine ball. It just wasn't uh, on target. Ball on the 24-yard line. Back for 
Camarillo, number 21. That's Sean Forster. On your inside of your screen. Ball snapped. Camarillo's Good got a kick. Pump return to the right side here. If they get around number the wall, 21 here he picks up the ball. He's down to about the 45, up to the 50. And he'll be stopped at about the 49-yard line of the Buena Bulldogs. I've got great field position. So after marching down the field and getting a 3 to nothing lead, Camarillo will take the ball over on about the 50-yard line. It'll be first and 10. Gary Wagner for the Camarillo Scorpions will bring his troops out. And if it's anything like the last series of downs, he should have no problem. Taking the ball down the field. First and 10, just inside the 49 yard line of the, of the Buena Bulldogs. There's a timeout on the field right now. Officials uh, talking something over. I didn't see any penalty flags, although they look like they're discussing something out there. Uh, they're probably trying to figure out what the clock, what the score, what the time is on the clock. You know, we're, we are without a clock tonight, folks, so we don't exactly know how much time is left here in the first quarter. We've played approximately three or four minutes. We'll try to keep you up to date on that. It'll be first down and ten for the Camarillo Scorpions. Wagner has the troops out in a eye formation. The give is to number 32. He fumbles it, and it's going to be recovered by the Buena Bulldogs. And that's a lucky break, Sam. Well, that was a good play by number 75 for Buena Dave uh, DeSoto came across it was tackle position. They tried to run off tackle and stripped the ball here, which was a fine play for Buena. So Buena will take the ball on the Camarillo, just inside the Camarillo 49 yard line. In fact, there was a yard exchange there. Michelle bring his folks out there in a wishbone. The first and 10 for the Buena Bulldogs. The pitch is to number 21. He'll go around the right side, found one block, two blocks. He's going to be brought down at about the 48, 47 yard line. It'll be second down. Jim Bussell made the tackle there. 58, a fine play from his linebacker position. They freaked the dive up the middle. They broke off from the wishbone. One of the uh, remaining backs went in motion and tried to get it to the wide side of the field with the pitch, but he slid from his. Uh, Inside linebacker position out to the outside and made a fine tackle. Number 81, Scooter Coleman flanked out left in a wishbone. Michelle back on a throw to Scooter. Number 81 catches the ball. He's down to the 40, down to about the 36-yard line. Real nice catch. And I believe that he had, he's got a first down on there, Sam. And they're playing off him. Uh, Defensive back on that side, I don't know his number at the moment, but uh, they're playing rather loosely on him, and that's twice they've gone short to uh, Schooner, so I guess they're respecting his speed. So they'll just pick away at him if they can. They did pick up a first down. It'll be first down from Camarillo Scorpion's own 38-yard line. Michelle with the play. Give up the middle, number 21. It's a fumble, and looks like looks like Camarillo's got the ball this time. And number 25 for the Camarillo Scorpions, that's Jeff Hamrick, cornerback. He'll be given credit for that fumble recovery, and it looks like Camarillo's going to go the other way now. Oh, Buena ran there, and they ran a cross scissors action up the middle, and he was hit by the linebacker. What was his number? Let's see. Oh, I lost him here. Number 51. No, it was number 50. Craig uh, Crenshaw came up and stuck him rather well, and he coughed up the, uh, the old ball. Wider give to number 32. Nelson off to the left side. He'll pick up maybe one, maybe two yards. He'll bring the ball out to Wider about the 39-yard line. I think Cameron has a best success when they're running inside of tackle. And they started uh, the last series trying to run outside of tackle, and that's when they got themselves in trouble. Right? A big fullback coming in there, a big tailback, I should say, coming in there. Um, when he comes inside tackle, he seems to have a little more power. He's a big man, 6'2", 190, a senior from Camarillo. It'll be second down and about six yards to go. The give is up the middle again to Nelson. He's down to about the 43 and a half yard line. He has to go to about the 44 
for the first down. So it'll be third down in about a yard. Nelson's running real well straight ahead, and Camarillo's line's getting off the ball. Buena's running a 52 Oki defense, and they need to make a charge to stalemate the offensive thrust of the Camarillo Scorpions. So it's first down after the referees place the ball down. Camarillo has picked up the first down. Wagner at quarterback. He hasn't thrown as much as we expected. The give is up the middle to number 20. That's Ed Palmer, fullback. Didn't look like Palmer picked up much there, Sam. No, sure didn't. Went and changed their defense up a little bit. That time they came after him and attacked him. Sometimes in that 52 defense, you sit back and read what the other team's going to do. With Camarillo running right at them, they have to get in the gap sometimes. Their tackles are playing on the outside shoulder of the offensive tackles, and therefore the line that has a lot of push on them when you've got a big fullback coming at you. That time they slanted it in. Stopped Palmer, the fullback, for little or no gain. So it'll be second down and 10. Wagner back to pass, find a little bit of pressure. Going to go up the middle, hit number 42, his wide receiver. That's Blair, that's Wade Blair. They fake the play up the middle, and they rolled out. Had good blocking from the offensive guard, and Wagner threw a, a good, good ball that time. With approximately three and a half minutes left in the uh, first quarter, Camarillo Scorpions are marching down the field much like they did on their first series of downs. It'll be second down and, a, excuse me, third down and about two yards. Camarillo leads the ball game, scoring early on a, on a field goal from 13 yards out. They lead it three to nothing here in the first quarter. Wagner with the ball, staying back, going to have little pressure. Throws off, is going to be wide and behind Wade Blair. Looks like he got a, a little pressure, something he was probably not expecting there as he rolled out to the right. One did change up on that defense, thinking that they were going to run on a short yardage, and Camarillo tried to cross him up with the rollout pass. The trouble was, when it was in their, um, what they call goal line, or short yardage attack, and corner linebacker and the wide, uh, their uh, defensive back came up from the outside, and there was nobody there to block him. So he had to dump the ball in a hurry. Number 75 down on the field right now is David DeSoto, and I don't think they can afford to, to lose him. He's a, he's a big guy. And of course, I'm sure that uh, we're taking every precaution right now to make sure that he is all right. He's still down on the field, has his helmet on. And they're looking at his knee. As Howard Gosell says, the knee, the knee, always the knee. <laughs> <laughs> it seemed like there's an injury out there. It is the knees. It seemed like they're... While there's time out... Kids are pretty well protected. Coming in to replace David DeSoto, number 75 will be number 70. Both teams are on a, as you said, what are the upper bodies are protected a lot. Both teams are not a run. Rollins, uh, football helmets. You know, you don't hear as much about head injuries as seems like nowadays. I guess they really developed the football helmet with the with the air and everything to, to cushion that impact. There's a few different uh, helmets on the market, but everybody knows that it's an integral part of the sport, and they do a lot of testing. Young people safeguard against injury. Number 75, David DeSoto walking off the field on his own power. Looks like he does have some sort of knee injury. We'll be able to find out about that injury as soon as possible. So as he's helped off the field, like I said, number 70 has come in to replace him at defensive tackle. Camarillo Scorpions leading here in the first quarter of the 1982 football season opener. Three to nothing against the Buena Bulldogs and first year head coach Mike Olgie. So they're going to kick it away after the incomplete pass. Ball is kicked. It's a nice kick. Going to drive number 22 all the way back. He's going to let it. Oh, no. An unfortunate play. Well, thinking that he should have let it go into the end zone, number 22. That's Chris Gooch decided to uh, decided he wanted to run with it. And then all of a sudden he didn't know what he wanted to do. He's dropped it about the one yard line. 
left to go in the first quarter. So Chris Gooch, in a moment of uncertainty, caught the ball. It's on the two-yard line, and Buena Bulldogs are in a hole. I'd say they have not a very good field position right now. No, not at this time. They sure don't. They need to so, get it out of here. So the backs lined up in a wishbone in the end zone. They give up the middle to the fullback, and he's not going to gain any at all. We're talking about Mike Hernandez. So it'll be second down, 10 yards to go, and the Bulldogs are still in very, very bad field position. They're going to have to do something to get that ball out of there. Blanker wide in the wishbone. It'll be second down. Michelle back to pass. He goes to his wide receiver outside. That'll get him out of a little bit. That's number 88, Kurt Allison. So Allison takes it to about the six or seven yard line. So it'll give him at least a little room to breathe. Big play here, though. They need to try and get the first down. They've got four or five yards, like I said, to come up with that first down so that they can get out and get some decent field position. I'm surprised to see them throw on second down from their own end zone. That shows how much confidence they have in their quarterback, Michelle. Well, he's a sophomore, and they say that he's a good one. He throws a fine ball. It'll be third down and about five yards to go. We do have a couple of... Whistle's blowing now. We'll have to see exactly what that's all about. Michelle kept the ball running up the middle. It'll be to no avail. They lined up in the wishbone. They were going to run that uh, outside veer to the white side of the field. I think it was going to be a good play. So the reason that whistle was, folks, is because that was the end of the first quarter. Although we don't have a time clock, that is the end. And the Camarillo Scorpions, after one quarter of play, lead the Buena Bulldogs here in this 1982 inaugural season opener here at Larrabee Stadium by a score of three to nothing. But I tell you, as as the first quarter goes, if it goes the same way for the Buena Bulldogs, the next three quarters, they're going to have to do something to get back in this ballgame, even though it's only three to nothing. They don't seem to have, they don't seem to be in, in, in charge right now. I think you're right in that respect. Camarillo is the aggressor in this situation. They, that opening march of 72 yards was very impressive, and they've moved the ball fairly well. The only thing that I can say for Buena, they are throwing the ball, they're moving the ball, and they're not picking up the first down. They need to pick up a couple of first downs like Camarillo did on their opening drive to install a little confidence. I think it would balance out. But well, right now, Michelle keeps the ball. He's going for the first down. No, the give is to number 25. That's Min Collins. Min Collins looks like he's picked up the first down. If he's not, he's this is going to be just short. They ran the same play that was called at the end of the quarter. They went to the right side of the field and they pitched out. Michelle pitched out there with Collins and uh, he was wide open. Six, seven yards on the first down. Good play. So Bulldogs get themselves out of a little bit of a hole. They still have a long win facing them. It'll be first and ten. We'll call it about the 16-yard line, 15-yard line, first and 10, number 25, Collins in motion left. Michelle back to pass, and flags are everywhere. It'll be incomplete. We'll bring this one back. We'll have to see what's wrong with that one. Either a holding or an offside. So an offside penalty will, against the Buena Bulldogs, will bring the ball back. I'm now talking with the defensive captain of the Camarillo Scorpions, number 50. That's Craig Crenshaw. Craig is a linebacker for Camarillo this year. We'll give you the uh, defense for the Camarillo Scorpions right now. Number eight is John McC McGee. He's a cornerback. Number 11 is Steve Anderson playing well, safety. Motion, number 25, Jeff Hamrick. He'll be playing quarterback. Another safety, Larry Kine, at num is number 30. Number 50, like we just said, is Craig Crenshaw at linebacker. Jim Bozell, linebacker, number 58. And we'll give you the rest of that starting defensive lineup for the Camarillo Scorpions in just a moment. Sophomore Michelle brings his troops out. It'll be second down. Number 21 in motion right. Long count. He's back to pass, looking for number 21. Going downfield, he's going to be dropped behind the line for a big loss. That was a play by Keith Kane, number 77. He put pressure on the last 
defensive charge and this time came up with a big quarterback sack. So number 77, Keith Kane, very excited down there now. He got his probably his probably is his first sack of the season, and it is since it's the first time that Michelle has been sacked here this evening. Matt Michelle of the Buena Bulldogs, 5'11, 160. He's a senior. So the ball is back on the nine-yard line. It'll be third down. The give up to middle is to number 35. He's down to about the 20, 21, 22 yard line. A good, a good run by Mike Hernandez, although I don't think it's going to be enough for a first down. So the Boyd Boy Dogs have to kick this one away. That time, Woody, they ran a quick trap up the middle and had a fine run there by uh, Mike Hernandez, who, by the way, is going both ways. It takes a lot out of an individual to go both offense and defense you don't in the course that. of a game. You don't see that too much these days, do you? No, you sure don't. You know, everybody is all specialty. So Buena will kick it away. It's a high kick. Not going to be much chance of a run back. I'm just going to let it roll. Number eight for John... John McGeekin takes a, a crack at someone, so it'll be rolled dead at about the 50-yard line where the Camarillo Scorpions will take over and see if they can't move the ball down for their score. Right now, three to nothing in favor of the Scorpions here in the second quarter with about two minutes gone here in the second quarter. Well, once again, Camarillo has good field position, so they can basically call or do anything they want. They're ahead three nothing, and they're on the 50-yard line. They can run or pass, and that presents a problem to the Buena Bulldogs defense. The referee's blowing whistles right now. We've got a timeout on the field. The official timeout. Not sure exactly what's going on. I think it must have uh, just decided to start it back up. Well, I'm, I'm sure they're having trouble with the clock. So Wagner gives to Nelson, number 32. He goes around the left side. He'll pick up a couple yards. There's a fumble, and it looks like Buena, at least by all indications, they've recovered the third fumble of the game, the second fumble by the Camarillo Scorpions. Ming Collins came up and made a fine tackle, and Nelson coughed the ball up. That's the second time Nelson has coughed the ball up, Sam. Is it possible that the folks down there just hit him too hard, or is he just not holding it tight enough? Uh, I think it's a case of being an opening uh, season jitters, and also he's uh, basic, uh, what they say about running backs is you need to concentrate more. I'm sure it was a fine tackle and a hard hit, but he needs to concentrate on holding that football. As Michelle brings his Buena Bulldogs out, they call a temporary timeout. We'll see exactly what that's all about. Three to nothing, Camarillo Scorpions ahead here in the second quarter. That's one thing I've been impressed with the, uh, in the short time that both teams have been playing is the fine, fine tackling on both teams. There hasn't been any missed tackles per se on either squad, and that'll have a tendency to uh, make running backs a little shy when that first defensive person's getting a good whack at you not to hold on to that football. Well, this being the first game of the season, I'm sure that those defensive players are hungry to hit somebody. You know, you go through those two-a-days and, and you uh, only hit your opposing well, you only hit your own teammates, and sometimes you don't want to hit them as hard as you probably would another player. And that's what they're doing out there tonight. Looks like there's some good hitting. Number 75, David DeSoto has already came out of the game. He's not returned yet. Matt Michelle, number seven, a quarterback for Buena, brings the troops down. Keeps the ball, and he's going to be dropped behind the line of scrimmage for about two yards behind the line. Looks like he should have got rid of that ball when he first wanted to, but then he decided to keep it. Looks like he might have seen an opening, but it closed rather quickly. Well, his, when he took it from his quarterback position, he has the option to either run the ball or pitch out. In 87, the defensive end, Dan Soto, opted to take the uh, pitch man. Therefore, um, quarterback's instructed to carry the ball himself, which time the inside linebackers both filled him, played that real well. Flanker on the right side. Michelle is back. He's going to be hit right before he threw the ball, and it was almost intercepted by number 30 for the, for the Camarillo Scorpions defensive at safety Larry Kine. 5'11", He's a senior. Michelle tried a quick uh, out to his wide receiver there, but he had pressure. He sets up on a three-yard pass play. 
three-step three step drop back pass play for a uh, quick out, try to pick up the first down on the outside. But uh, he had pressure from both ends, uh, number 77 and 87 Soto, and uh, 77 who had made a play before was uh, Keith King. They both were coming hard on the outside, big boys. So Michelle again back to pass, make up the middle, he's way back, gonna be dropped, he doesn't get rid of his screen pass, is no good. It hit the ground first, but number 44 was gonna take a chance that somebody might not have seen that Chet Brower and uh, continue to run. Well, they made the right call on that play. Since both ends are coming real hard, they tried to set up a screen pass, but uh, somehow the running back got caught up in the line and he wasn't able to uh, get clear so that uh, Michelle would have a clear target to throw to him on the outside there. But they had both uh, 77 Kane and Soto 87 coming hard and had him sucked out of, out of position for that screen play to the right side of the field. It was a good call, good play. It just didn't uh, material, uh, materialize. Fourth and 12 for the Bulldogs, Tim Kanarski back to five. It'll be fourth and 12 and Buena is going to be forced to kick again. Camarillo will be in good position if they get it. The block, it is blocked. It's going to be picked up by number 51. He's out of the 20 to the 15 to the 10 to the 5. He'll score. Camarillo leads 9 to nothing. Camarillo put out a full charge of Paul Waite, number 88, blocked the punt. Picked up by number 51, that's Mike Greenway. And I'm sure that that linebacker will remember this one for a long, long time. So Camarillo leads on a blocked punt, returned about 38 yards for a touchdown by number 51, and that's Mike Greenway. Mike Greenway from the Camarillo Scorpions, 5'10", 170. And it looked like he had stars in his eyes. He with no looking back, Sam. That was a fine play by Camarillo. They put on the all-out rush. When I wasn't expecting it. Paul Wake came right up the middle and blocked that. Number 64, Steve Pinto will be back to try the extra point. Here's the step, it's down, number 64, kicks, boots, it's through. And Camarillo leads here in the second quarter by a score of 10 to nothing, and it did it just like that. Way to back to kick the ball away, he just didn't have enough time. And number 51, Greenway came through to take the ball all the way down for a touchdown, and Camarillo leads 10 to nothing. So nothing is going right, Sam, for, for Blaine right now. Well, they were going to hopefully put uh, Camarillo in a little bit of a bad field position. They were at least got him back to maybe about the 35-yard line. They've been starting out most of their drives on the 50, where they can do it, everything and anything. Number 21 for the Buena Bulldog, Sean Forster, will be back to receive the punt, I mean, receive the kickoff. He's back on about the 10-yard line. Camarillo's in the driver's seat now, leading 10 nothing. Number 64, Pinto will kick the ball off again to number 21. As we said, Sean Forster and number 22, Jeff Freeland. Now with the 10-0 lead, you can do a little more gambling on defense. Gambling meaning uh, you can run a few blitzes and red dogs. The ball is picked up by number 22. That's Jeff Freeland. He's back to about the 32, 33-yard line where it'll be first and 10 for the Buena Bulldogs. And uh, Sam, right, talk about their being able to Go gamble a little bit more now. Talking about the defensive team for the Cavaliers Scorpions. Well, when you're 10 points ahead, obviously the other team's going to score a touchdown and possibly two to even uh, win the game at this uh, junction stage of the game. But uh, right now, Camarillo can sit back, and if one starts to come out and try to throw the football, they can uh, rush or they can sit back. They can do a number of things. So number 21, Sean Zintz. In the back wheel, in the wishbone, the pitch is to Zins, left side, he's going to be stopped behind the line, about a two-yard loss, and number 21, Vince just didn't have anywhere to go. Fine play by the outside cornerback, number 25, Jeff Hammer, came up from his outside cornerback position and made a fine tackle. Jeff Hamrick wearing the same number 25 that his brother Mark Hamrick wore when he was a player at Camarillo High School. Mark, you may remember, was a wide receiver for the Ventura College Pirates in the 1980 and 81 season. A fine receiver. So Matt Michelle with his troops down. He's dropped back to pass. He's looking for a receiver downfield. The throw is going to be almost intercepted by number 11, Steve Anderson. Anderson of safety, a junior on this Camarillo Scorpion team. 
Michelle spread it out to the right on that wishbone attack, but he's getting a lot of pressure from the defensive end. Keith Kane, number 77, fine pressure. Put it, came in with his hands up, and Michelle had to release quickly. Seven minutes left here in the second quarter of this inaugural first game of this 1982 season from Larrabee Stadium. Might add the field's in fine. It is in good shape. We were out here a little bit earlier when they were putting the lines down, and it looks good. I thought for a little bit earlier we might get some rain, but fortunately we didn't. Michelle Gibbs to number 21. He'll be off to the left side. He'll pick up maybe four, maybe five yards. Number 21, Sean Dent. This will be down to about the 31, 32 yard line. Fourth and six here in the second quarter. So Buena's gonna have to kick it away and they're gonna have to uh, remember that last time they tried to kick it away. Because if they don't, the same man will be right back through there. But I'm sure they've made some adjustments. Back to receive the punt, number 30 for the Camarillo Scorpions, Larry Kine. Also back to number 21, and that's Sean Forster for the Camarillo Scorpions. Kick is up, it's a high one, it's not going very far. They don't watch it, it'll get a good bounce for them. So it'll be down at about the 37 yard line where the Camarillo Scorpions will take over first and 10. They lead this ball game 10 to nothing. And like Sam Sionner said, they're in the driver's seat right now. Now, being in the driver's seat, does that mean that they can also relax a little, not relax actually, but try a little bit something different on offense, maybe spread it out a little bit? I would think so. I'm, I'm looking forward to knowing uh, Coach uh, Ken Wagner from Camarillo. I think that they might even come out and throw the ball on first down in this series. I'm really surprised, Buena. Mark Wagner, Coach Wagner's son, number seven at quarterback. The give is to number 32, that's Terry Nelson. Nelson's going to pick up maybe maybe a yard. He might have even lost one. Newman Carmona, number 63 from Brenna, in his linebacker position. Stunned through there and made a fine play in the backfield. From the 37-yard line, it'll be second down. Approximately eight yards to go. Actually, it hasn't moved that far. We'll call it second and 10. So the ball is still on the 37-yard line. Camarillo wide lines up in a flaker right. Number 42 in motion. That's number that's Wade Blair. The pitch is to number 32 Nelson. He's around the right side to the 35 to the 40 to the 44 yard line. But there are a couple of flags down. In a situation like that, it looks like somebody might have been offsides. Because of illegal motion. I believe the 42, the receiver that was going in motion there. Started towards the line of scrimmage before the ball was snapped. Just broke too soon there. Right. So that's Wade Blair, number 42, breaking just, just a moment too soon. When you're running across that line there, Woody, and the defense is calling their signals as you're running across and they're adjusting, sometimes you don't pick up the snap count. And therefore, you tend to go too early. As you're running away from the line, you can't hear the snap count and you tend to go upfield too quick. That's one situation where you got to be careful when you're the man in motion. So the ball will be brought back to the 32-yard line, where it will be second down and 15. Gary Wagner has a flanker out to the left. Wind, lined up in the eye. He's back to pass, looking for the flanker left. Plenty of time. Throws over the middle. A great catch by number 35. Is number 85, that is. That's Mark Camper. The Camarillo tied in. So Camper takes the ball down all the way to... We'll call it Buena Bulldogs 42-yard line. Fine pass by Wagner, straight drop back pass. Camper came from the right, si from the right side of the field to the left on a crossing pattern and hit him on the left hash mark. Great play, great throw. Pretty good-sized target out there for high school. 6'1", 185. He's just a junior. Looks like he's got good hands, able to catch it in some traffic. I like the way Wagner threw that football with authority. It'll be first and ten for the Camarillo Scorpions. 
pitched back to number 32, Terry Nelson. He's down. He'll be dropped behind the line of scrimmage. So it looks like they they picked up the key on Nelson. During the first series of downs, he picked up good yard. The last few times, Cameron has had the ball, and they've given it to Nelson, number 32. He's not made too good a yardage. In fact, he's dropped the ball or coughed up the ball a couple of times on, on fumbles. And this time, he might have picked up one yard, maybe two. I think what Camarillo is trying to do right now is they're trying to keep run the ball wide, and they're going to come up the middle here in the next uh, set up, the next uh, series or so. That was a fine play by the inside uh, linebacker there, Ruben Carmona. Came from his uh, linebacker spot and came up and stuffed. Penalty flags were thrown on the play. Camarillo assessed five-yard penalty. It'll be first and 15 from about the 46-yard line of Buena Bulldogs. Second down and about 15 from about the 46-yard line of Buena Bulldogs. Wagner is back to pass, looking for an open man. He's out to the right, finds at the last minute, number 22 for the for the Boyna Bulldogs, the wide receiver, Chris Gooch. He's just playing strong safety. At the last minute, came in with a hand and knocked that ball away. Fine defensive play by Chris. They had a sprint out pattern there, and they had a one-man receiver. And then uh, Chris knew exactly where they were going to go to. And Almost had the ability to pick that thing off. So it'll be third down and 15 from the 46 yard line, the Buena Bulldogs. Camarillo still in good field position, even though it's third down. They do have a good arm in Wagner who, who can zip that ball down there 15, 20 yards for that first down. So with about six minutes, excuse me, about four minutes left here in the second quarter, with Camarillo leading 10 to nothing, we do have a timeout on the field. There were Initially a penalty, I think. They've got it squared away now. Having a little trouble tonight, folks. The referees don't have a clock to work with other than the one they have down there. They are calling timeout. They're not exactly sure for what. But there is a timeout on the field. Camarillo leading 10 to nothing here in the first game of this 1982 season. Channel 6 Sports, glad to uh, be able to bring you this, this cable cast. And we're real proud to have Sam Sadonovich along with us to give us our expert commentary because a lot of the times they come out here and we just appreciate having the insight of uh, someone who's played professional football here in the booth. I don't know if that makes you qualified to be able to comment on a game per se or on the television or radio or what have you, but uh, you do uh, have uh, different insights than a lot of people would not be able to pick up through years of playing. You put 20 years of playing, uh, playing this game out here and uh, you pick up your little uh, tricks and trades of the business just like any other business. Which I'm sure that after 20 years you could be considered an expert. <laughs> well, I'd like to think so. I'm sure you put in a lot of long hours into, into those training camps and learning everything you, you could while being a professional ball player. I'm sure there's a lot of uh, study time there. Very much so. A lot of, a lot of game film you watch. Uh, approximately four hours a day. That's a long time. Six months out of the year. And you, do you study it when the offseason up too? Also, yes, that's correct. So we're back to action here. Camarillo, third and 15. Wagner with the ball, back to pass. Looking for wide receiver down the middle of the field. Oh, number 82 for the Camarillo Scorpions. That's Matt Pearson had the ball in his hands and dropped it. Wasn't enough for a first down, but you never can tell how much he, he might have gained should he had caught the ball. So it'll be fourth down. That was just a matter of lack of concentration. Good pass right to him, and he tried to turn up the field too quick. You to catch the ball first before you run. First thing to do is catch that ball and then run up the field. But uh, it was a good pattern. He was open, so they might try that again. It's third down and 15. Wagner back to pass on about the same. He's setting the screen up the middle. To number 42. He's down to the 40. He's down to about the 41 yard line. We'll call that the 35, excuse me. It won't be enough for a first down. This time it will be fourth down. Fourth and four for Camarillo Scorpions here in the second quarter with time just about running out. I'm sure we don't have very much time left. They lead 10 to nothing over Buena here in this first game. Scoring on a field goal from 13 yards out and scoring on a block punt by number 51, Mike Greenway. Come on, 
but they're not going to kick it away. Gary Wagner, quarterback for the Camarillo Scorpions, has enough faith in his arm, I'm sure, that he's going to try to get it to some receiver. Back to pass inside, almost caught again by number 82, Matt Pearson. This time the defense was just a little bit too close, and the Buena Bulldogs will take over on down. Good play by Chris Gooch. Twice he's done that. Left his feet and go for the ball. You will find defensive play. So Buena is not letting the Camarillo Scorpions make a route out of it. They still have a lot of energy. They're not going to give it up right now. Three and a half minutes left here in the second quarter. Buena Bulldogs with the ball on the 35-yard line, first and 10. Give us up to middle to the fullback. That's number 36, Mike Hernandez. Pick up of about two. It'll be second down and eight yards to go for Buena. Behind in this ball game, 10 to nothing. Jim Bussell made a fine play from his linebacker position. Stood right in there while they faked, faked the dive, and then that actually handed off on the dive. The linebacker has to stay put, then read from the inside to the outside. Fine job by Jim. Number 21, Sean Zint, sets on the right side, flanker right, flanker left. Michelle with a give to number 30, 25. He's along the left side, to the right side to the 46-yard line where he's run out of bounds. Number 25, Men Collin. Lined up in a wishbone, broke away from the wishbone, then ran a draw. Good call. You know, the draw play is one that's been around and seems like forever, but it, it, still, it still works. Right. So the ball is out to the 46-yard line, called 46 and a half yard line. First and 10 for the Buena Bulldogs here in the second quarter. charging defense, honest. As you run right by the uh, fullback or the halfback, whoever that may be, that they're running the draw play too. If you charge too hard, too fast, that'll slow you up in a hurry. Running out in the wishbone, Flanker's left side. It'll be first and 10 for Michelle. Michelle back to pass. Looking for the receiver on the left side of the field. He's going to be dropped. He throws it at the last minute. Tries to get it to Sean Zintz. Actually, he was just dumping it off before he was, it was pounded to the turf by number 77, Keith Kane, defensive end for Camarillo. So it'll be second and 10. Another player in on that was number 70. We don't have his his name up here. These programs are not complete. It'll be second down. Time out by the Bulldogs. We have time out on the field. Bulldogs do a, take a timeout. We need to get into King Rio territory. We haven't been a, a good quarter. A little pressure on the King Rio defense. We need a big call here. Second. I'm sure that if Camarillo goes into the uh, clubhouse at halftime with that, with that shutout, they're going to come back out and be real far up. They'll be wanting to maintain that shutout here in the first game of the season. That's great. Timeout on the field, as we said, going to Bulldogs, taking the timeout. About three minutes left here in the second quarter. Woody Morgan along with Sam Sionovich here at Larrabee Stadium. Channel 6, proud to bring you this Game of the Week. We'll be bringing you Game of the Week each week here on Channel 6. This game, which will be replayed on Friday the 18th. And the game we tape on the 18th will be played on the 19th. And that'll be the Ventura Cougars home opener. So Michelle on the wishbone. They move the flanker to number... 25, Collins off to the left. Be second the down. Defense. They give us the number 21, Zinth, up the middle to about the 49-yard line. And like you said, Sam, they were in that, in that prevent defense. Correct. Time running out. I know Buena needs to get on the scoreboard. So Buena going without the huddle. Called two in the huddle. We know that they're going to have to throw the football to get down there. 50 yards away from Hayden. So Michelle throwing the ball off to the left and dropped by number 81 for the Buena Bulldogs. And we're talking about our wide receiver, number 81, Scooter Coleman. Approximately two minutes left here in the second quarter. 
It'll be fourth down. Camarillo leading 10 to nothing. And looks like they'll get the ball back one more time before the half. Back will be number 21, Sean Forster, six, six foot, 175. Another update on that clock. One minute left here in the second quarter. So Buena is going to quick kick. No. They, uh, they to fake. Camarillo came up. He's looking for it. Good defensive play by Camarillo. They tried to uh, snap the ball to the uh, up back. So on an attempted... Punt. They give it to number number 33. It doesn't pick up very much yardage. Number 33 from the from the Bulldogs team. That's Dana Gibson. He was playing the up back, and as Sam said, they snapped it to him, hoping that they would catch the the uh, Camarillo Scorpions off guard, which they did not do. So Camarillo will take over first and ten, with about one minute left in the game. They'll take over on the Buena Bulldogs 48-yard line. With Camarillo calling time out there, I believe that they're going to try to get down there and get in the least field goal range. Now, Sam, you played football when your father was coaching at Santa Clara. What kind of relationship do, does a coach and his father have on the field? <laughs> that's, uh, it's, that's a tough situation, both on and off the field. You try to have a professional attitude about the game while you're out there, but it sometimes gets a little bit difficult little tense right now things are going good for uh, coach Wagner and his son but there'll be times in the course of uh, this game or future games where there's going to be ah oh, dad you're not going to run it this way <laughs> well we'll see what they run this time Gary Wagner having talked with his father Ken Wagner the coach of the Camarillo Scorpions There's about one minute left Wagner back to pass looking for his receiver inside almost a great catch a great a great hit by number 22 Chris, Chris Gooch The pass was intended for Hairston, number 85. He'll come out of the ball game, being replaced by number 82 for Camarillo. That's Matt Pearson. So Hairston fails to come up with the ball after a good hit by Coots, number 22 for Buena. He's, Chris has had about four good defensive plays this first half. Playing a fine football game. It will still be second and 10 from the 48-yard line. Wagner back to pass, looking for a receiver. Going to have to go out wide right. The ball is a great play again by number 22, Chris Gooch. Another outstanding play. Now he continues to come up with him. I guess they feel if he was, if he burned him once to come back and try him again, well, he's, I think he's proven to him that they shouldn't go to his side. Well, he's playing the strong side, and that's the favorite side of uh, most uh, football teams, the right side, and because uh, the quarterback's right hand and he rolls to the right. And so they got him playing the uh, strong safety position, and that's definitely the position that he needs to be playing. Lance McGuire, flanked right, third down. Wagner back to pass, looking to set up the screen to number 85. That's Mark Camper. Camper down to about the 40-yard line, where he's tackled by a large group of Buena Bulldogs. Led by number 76, Ben Garcia. It'll be down to the 40-yard line. It will be fourth down and about three yards to go. Fourth and three for Camarillo. They lead 10 to nothing, and they again take a timeout. Gary Wagner going over to talk to the coach, find out just exactly what they want to go. I guess about the only thing you can do with the, with the amount of time left in the game, which we don't know exactly how much that is, Sam, although it's probably about 20, 22 seconds, that uh, they'll still throw it up here fourth down. I believe you're right. I don't know how many timeouts they have left. They might... Uh, have one more timeout left, but fourth and three yards. I think they're going to try to throw the football, and maybe possibly throw a sideline pattern and try to get out of bounds, and stop the clock. But you're going to need at least one more timeout to set up for the field goal. Now, if they don't have a timeout, it's indeed a possibility if they'll run a quick draw or something like that. If they're going to give them that first down, stop that clock, and give them that time to uh, to recoup and try at least one more play. Right, that's true. I don't know how. Uh, far the range of the uh, field goal kicker they have, but they're out quite a ways for a high school field goal kicker to be able to kick. As a matter of fact, uh, for a professional, they're out on the 40-yard line. So Wade Blair flanks to the right side. 
Wagner has his troops in the eye. He's back to pass, looking for that fourth down. Throw is wide to number 81. Ex Actually, that's number 80, McGuire. So Buena will take over with about probably 20 seconds left here in the second quarter. Camarillo fails to score. I tried to run that quick out there. Throw was a little away. Had good pressure by Buena's defense. Uh, front, front four there. And uh, he heard the throw, and it was pretty well covered there, so just as well that it did go out of bounds. So Camille will come back out and prevent defense, as Sam told you a few minutes ago, the, the amount of time left. They know that the Bulldogs will have to throw the ball if they're going to score. Considering the score 10 nothing, Warner's done a fine job on defense, and Camille has been moving the football, but Warner ha hasn't bent. I mean, they've been, but they haven't broken, I should say. Michelle with the number 84. He's off the right side, going to go out of bounds at the 50. Pass right. complete to Tom Legasic. Again, <laughs> number 86. Excuse me, number 88. That's Paul Waite. He went out of bounds at about the 44 yard line. Even if they don't score, they move the ball a couple more times, get a couple more first downs. That'll boost their confidence coming out from the second half, knowing that they do have the possibility and the ability to move the football against this tough Camarillo defense. The Camarillo has been tough. Michelle with his troops in the wishbone. Snaps, comes back to pass, looking for his wide receiver left side, right side, incomplete. It'll be third down. Clock stops. He went back to the same play three times in a row, and that time uh, Paul Waite, the outside linebacker for Camarillo, took a little wider uh, position than he did the first two times. Therefore, it was uh, made it virtually impossible for Michelle to throw that out. Um, good defensive play by uh, number 88, Waite. So it'll be third down. Buena Bull likes looking to get close so they can get their own field goal kicker a chance. Michelle back pumps, second time throw is late to number 20, to number 21 hooked up there. And the uh, defense come out the winner that time. Number 21 for the Camarillo Scorpions being Sean Forster, uh, excuse me, yeah, Sean Forster for the Scorpions and number 21, Sean Zintz for the Camry, for the Buena Bulldogs. Morning trying a new formation that time. Three receivers to the uh, wide side of the field. Trouble was they didn't have anybody blocking and they had a good pass rush by Camarillo and therefore Michelle went to throw and he had to hold up. So Buena going on fourth down. Going for all the marbles right here at the closing moments of the second quarter. Camarillo leading 10 to nothing. Michelle back to pass. He's got plenty of receivers in the pattern. It goes over the middle. A good catch by number 21 Zinz. Excuse me, that wasn't number 21, that was number 81 for the for, uh, Buena Scooter Coleman. So it'll be enough for a first down. They didn't go for all the marbles, just a part of the pockets. And it'll be timeout, Buena. So in these closing moments of the second quarter, Sam, Buena is not giving up. They're using everything they can in order to get that ball down the field. It was a good play to came back. Michelle set up deep, deep drop back pass, waiting for his wide receiver to come across the middle and hit him right on the money. Picked up the first down. It's about the first time I've seen him in this territory in quite a while. It has been. In fact, they've only been here this series of downs the first time they've got there. That's correct. But sometimes I'm to yourself uh, on defense. You're leading 10 nothing. a couple minutes left in the quarter, the half, and you sit back and try to forget them from uh, scoring a touchdown, you get, start giving up too much, and then you try to get back into your regular defense, which it seems that Camarillo's going to uh, tighten up a little bit now. So you and it kind of gets you a little uh, goofed up there, going from uh, a spread out defense to a tight defense, which they're in right now. First and 10 on the Bulldog 35, Michelle back to pass, going left to number 81. He's down to pick up, pick up another first down. Number 81, Scooter Coleman, continuing to catch the ball in traffic and then picking up at least a couple of more yards. It'll be first and 10 on about the 25-yard line for the Buena Bulldogs. 
with about 45 seconds left here in the in the second quarter. I know we've been telling you that <laughs> the times have uh, changed a lot here in this second quarter. Right now they're just running a basic out pattern and went from the right side to now they're over to the left side. They're running it real well, five, six yards at a crack. That time the wide receiver should have gone out of bounds. Kill the clock so they have to use a timeout. This time they left out with the measurement. Michelle with the first and ten. Back to pass, looking for a wide receiver down the right side. Going, he's found an open man. Going to be intercepted in the end zone. No, taken away. It's a touchdown for the Buena Bulldogs. Number eight for the Camarillo Scorpions. That's John McGee. Had the ball in his hands, but it was taken away by number 84 of the Buena Bulldogs. Number 88, excuse me, Kurt Allison. And I, that was just a muscle play, Sam. That was one fine play, you're right. So the Buena Bulldogs take the ball and march down the field here. In the closing moments of the second, second quarter, a great pass from the 25-yard line from, excuse me, Mike Michelle, Matt Michelle, that is, to number 88, Kurt Allison, who just literally took it away from number eight, John McGee. Penalty flags are down on the point after. It'll be against the Bulldogs. A procedure penalty. So it'll move, move it back five yards where they'll try again. But it was a great play, a great catch. And I'm very much surprised because the, I'm telling you, the scope of this game has changed. Matt Michelle marching his point of Bulldogs down the field and from the 25-yard line throwing a 25-yard scoring pass. And number 88, Kurt Allison, who literally took it away from number eight, John McGee. So it's down in the kick by Michelle is good. So in the closing moments of the second quarter, Buena has marched back. They still are behind 10 to seven, but the, I would say the complexion of the game has changed. That's for sure. There was a fine drive, at four or five out patterns, picked up five, six yards, got a couple of first downs, got in to Camarillo's territory, where they could do some different things. Camarillo had to play a little bit of defense uh, differently than they had in the whole course of the uh, first half. First, they started out with an umbrella defense, loosening up their defensive backs and their linebackers. When it didn't uh, elect to go for the deep pass, they went with the short passes. Camarillo came up tight on a short passing game. And when it elected to go deep, I think I'm going to have to comment to uh, Coach Olji on his uh, weightlifting. It looks like Allison uh, just literally, uh, with the strength, the upper body strength, pulled that football right away from the defensive back there. It was a great play. I will have to say that. That's one of the best plays. Well, being the first game of the season, it's the only, it is the best play we've seen all year. We look to see a lot more. Kicking off for the Buena Bulldogs will be seen Lance Fortin. He'll be back number 21, Deshaun Forster, and number 41, Larry Clody. Ball picked up by number 12, Jim Price. Price trying to pick up some extra yards, dropped at about the 15-yard line. By Chris Creech. Camarillo might have been taking the Bulldogs for granted here in the closing minutes, but I think the closing minutes have, have given a new personality to that Buena Bulldog team. As you said, Chris Gooch in on that tackle, and as Sam's been telling you all evening long, he has been playing some fine defense. It will be first and 10 on the 15-yard line. With no clock, they say this will be the last play of the second quarter. So Wagner, back to pass, going for all the marbles here on the last play. Going to be dropped for a loss back to about the 14-yard line. Sacked by number 61 for the Buena Bulldogs. That's Cliff Sandoval, the nose guard. Surprise call there. Back in their own end zone, they went for the deep one. Buena was looking for it. It really surprised me that they would go for an last play. And that's the end of the second quarter, Sam. 
with the Boyden Bulldogs behind, but scoring on a late second quarter touchdown. They're behind 10-7 to to these Camarillo Scorpions. We'll be back in just a minute for the second half of this ball game between the Buena Bulldogs and the Camarillo Scorpions. I'm Woody Morgan. Stay tuned for the second half as we join Sam Sionovich right after this. Pinto, number 64, kicking it off. Be returned by number 22 for the Camarillo Scorpions. That's Jeff Freeland. Freeland down. He'll be going to the, down to the 40, to the 45, and a cut back cross. Head flop. Down to the 50 on a great return to start the second half. Chris Gooch. Coming along the 30. To the 50 yard line. And he almost broke it, Sam. Well, what you do it. You run an athlete. You put your back. You run back. First time Boyner started off. Good field position. Listen to our coach, OG. The uh, locker room talking about uh, opening up a little, as they are right now. we got three right. Flaked out three right, the right side. Michelle, it's quarterback, starting the second half. Trying to pick up where he left off in the first half. Ball, number 44 for the camera, for the Buena Bulldogs. Chet Brower had it in his hands and dropped it. But it looks like they're trying to start off just like they, uh, they ended up the, the first half. So they did, uh, looks like they got a little confidence in the, uh, in the system. For themselves. That was a big shot in the arm getting that touchdown in the last couple of minutes, as we said before. Woody Morgan along with Sam Sionovich here at the 1982 football season opener at Larrabee Stadium. Camarillo Scorpions leading 10 to 7. Someone forgot to snap number 51 for the for the Bulldogs. That's Andy Wadsworth, the offensive tackle. Flags all over the field. They came out once again, Woody in there. They have two receivers to the white side of the field, so they are definitely going to open it up. They talked about uh, putting a lot of pressure uh, at halftime on the uh, defensive backs for Camarillo. Going to come out and test them early. It will be second down, 15 yards to go from the Bulldogs' 45-yard line. Bulldogs to the right of your scene. Screen Camarillo to the left. Blinker right in the wishbone. The flip is number 21. That's dropped behind the line for a couple yard loss. That's Sean Vince, number 21. Larry Kine came up from his defensive backfield spot, took the pitch man who was Vince, made a fine tackle. It's going to be third down from the, we'll call it the 44 and a half yard, no we're not, we'll call it the 42 yard line. It will be third down and 18 yards to go for a first down. So after taking the opening kickoff to the 50-yard line, they're now back at their own 43-yard line. Matt Michelle. The pitch is to 21 cents. He's going to throw a pass. On field, but it's a bad pass, we'll say. It didn't look like he got it all. So it'll be fourth down for the Buena Bulldogs. And he really did open it up. They ran a halfback pass that time. And that halfback with Sean Zins, number 21, who didn't get a real good hold on the ball. The receiver was open downfield a good five or six yards. So as Coach Olsey did say at halftime, they're going to open up if they can get good field position. They start off the second half with good field position. Tim Konarski, back to punt. Back to get to his number 21. He's down on about the 25-yard line. Number 21 for the Camarillo Scorpion, Sean Forster. So when he went to catch the ball, his knee went down, and that's where the Camarillo Scorpions will start their first possession of the second half. It will be first down on the 24-yard line. Talking to Coach Wagner and also uh, Coach uh, Art Pena from Camarillo, they want to open it up also. So both teams want to throw the football more. When we say you open it up, they were, they're talking about throwing the ball a little bit deeper and getting uh, Buenos uh, defensive backs to uh, loosen up a little bit because they have been playing fairly well in the uh, secondary. Number seven, Gary Wagner, bringing his Camarillo Scorpions to the line. And he's given the ball to number 32, and that's Taylor. Excuse me, Terry Nelson, starting in the tailback position here in the second half. Also in the backfield, number 42, Wade Blair. He's at a flanker position. Got a couple of passes in the first half. And Camarillo will have, it looks like a second 12 
It'll be second down and 12 yards to go for a first down. The ball will be marked on the 23-yard line. Call it the 22. Camarillo leading 10 to nothing. Excuse me, 10-7 here in the opening moments of the second of the third quarter of the second half. Number 42, Blair in motion. The pitch is to number 32, Nelson. Nelson around the side. Flags are everywhere. He'll be dropped at about the 20-yard line. They'll bring part of that back anyway. I didn't see exactly who the penalty was on. Referee will give us that indication in just a minute. He gave it, I believe it was a motion, Camarillo. What's taking place is flagging to the quarterback's not putting his hands underneath the center. And when the tailback or the receiver is going in motion from one side to the other, then he's putting his hands underneath the center, which constitutes two people moving in the backfield, which is a penalty. And one can move at one time. So the quarterback needs to put his hands underneath the center, and then the wide receiver or the other running back that is going in motion may go in motion at that given time. So number 20, Ed Palmer in the backfield, along with number 32, Nelson. Wagner back to pass, looking for the open man downfield. And I believe we're going to have pass interference on number 25 for the camera, excuse me, for the Buena Bulldogs. Number 25, Min Collins going both ways tonight. It looked like number 42, Blair, was interfered with just before he had a chance to catch the ball. Good pass protection by Camarillo. Offensive line like from the good cup, straight drop on. back pass by Wagner, threw the ball well and came up with a pass interference call. So it will be first and 10 for the Camarillo Scorpions. They'll move the ball all the way down to the 35-yard line. The remarking that ball will be on the 36-yard line, where it will be first and 10 for the Buena Bulldogs, excuse me, for the Camarillo Scorpions. Now, Pally, again, the Scorpions are first down, so they'll take over the first, first and 10. 10 that was a big play there. What did they get first down and got out of the hole? Get him out of the bag. So Wagner with his troops up there in the eye with Langer to the right and left. The pitch is back to Nelson, number 32, along the left side. He's down to the 40-yard line, down to about the 41. Pickup of about five yards. It will be second and five for the Camarillo Scorpion. Good tackle by 36, Mike Hernandez from Buena. Coming in from his inside linebacker's position and scraping along the line of scrimmage. Bringing down a really big running back for high school. Number 36, Mike Hernandez, also going both ways tonight. He's playing in the fullback position for the Bulldogs. So Wagner with a third down, with a second down and about five yards to go. The pitch is inside number 22. Palmer, he's down to the 50-yard line. He's down to about the Bulldog 47-yard line. So although they haven't used Palmer very much tonight, relying mostly on Nelson, number 32, the handoff to him picks up a first down. It'll be marked on the Buena Bulldog 49-yard line. What will be first and 10 for the Camarillo Scorpions. They ran that play a couple times in the first half early in the first series, and now they decided to go back with it, where they fake the pitch to Nelson and come inside with Palmer. It's a good play, and I think that they'll continue to go back to it. First and 10. Number 80, flank wide right. Pitches inside to Wade Blair, who coughs it up. Lucky uh, is the only way that we can call that one. He dropped the ball, actually coughed it up in one of his own players. Oh, my. Oh, my. It is right. Nice tackle by the inside linebacker, number 63. Ball was recovered by number 32, the tailback, Terry Nelson. So would you say that Terry, even though he coughed up a couple of himself in the first half, might have got one of those back now, Sam? I believe so. Rudy Cremona from his linebacker spot wasn't fooled on the reverse to the uh, to the wing back on that particular play there. Came up, made the tackle, made him cough the ball up in his backfield. I don't think he was expecting to get hit back there. The give is to number 20 up the middle again. He's down to about the 38-yard line. Looks like he's picked up a first down for Camarillo, depending on where they mark the ball. Looks to me like a first down for Camarillo, and they are continuing to go right down the field. They were coming back with the same philosophy they did on the opening series drive. They went a little outside with Nelson, and now they're running that uh, quick trap up the middle with Palmer, where they fake the pitch 
to Nelson and run the inside trap to Palmer. And that's been a very successful play. They're picking up seven, eight yards every time they've run that ball. Waitler, number 42, to the right side, number 80, left side. Wagner back to pass, looking for his wide receiver, going to Wade Blair. He has him to the 28-yard line, all the way down to the 20-yard line for a first and 10 for the Camarillo Scorpion. So Wade Blair picks up about 20 yards on that reception. A nice pass from Gary Wagner. Fine protection by the big hogs up front for Scorpions. Straight drop back pass. Wade ran a, what they call a curling pattern, about a 12-yard curling pattern. Turned right in front of the defensive back. Perfect pass. Protecting the quarterback tonight, number 65, Bill Hood playing a guard. Number 66, Larry Graham at the two-guard position. Number 80, Leroy Hairston flanked right this time. Number 42, Blair to the left, the pitches to Nelson, number 32. He's down to the 20, down to the 15, where he'll be stopped for about a five-yard gain. It'll be second and, we'll call it second and five. Nelson around the left hand, knocked down by Big Collins. Mixing the plays up. Gain about six of the plays. a few passes. Pitch out to Nelson on the outside, hand off to Palmer up the middle. And they got going out. The back's up against the wall right now, trying to figure out what exactly they're doing out there. Are going to do. Coach Mike Oldie talking about his junk bone offense. It looks like that the Camarillo Scorpions have a little bit of their own junk. They got receivers flanked out wide, right number 42. Blair the pitch again to Nelson, number 32. The defensive end coming up. Nelson got a lucky block and he scores from 15 yards out, and Camarillo takes a 16 to 7 lead here in the second quarter. He just came back with the same sweep. Nelson stretched the defense ball far enough. To made a good block and kicked out on the uh, cornerback coming up to try to make the play. Stepped inside there and made a fine run. It was a fine run. 15 yards out, he scores for his first touchdown of the season. The point after, number 12, that's Jim Price will be holding the ball for number... I'll get his number for you in just a second. That's number 64, Pinto, for the point after touchdown. Point after is good, and Camarillo leads here in the, in the third quarter, 17 to 7. We're going to take a look at that, at that touchdown run, Sam, and uh, as soon as it comes up, we'll ask you to comment on it here on our instant replay for Channel 6. Well, they were running that sweep to the left, pitching back to Nelson, and here they come to the right. Nelson's on the outside, and you see Palmer, number 20, kicking around the corner back with a fine block, and... Nelson reading his fullback's block, cut inside of it, and scored a touchdown. It was a good run. Simple as that. Real good run. Number just 32. Like on the blackboard. That's the way it's supposed to be done, Sam Savonard says, and that's the way it was done here for the Camarillo Scorpions. They take a 17 to 7 lead here in the third quarter. And after the, an initial penalty, had them at second and 15 yards, they drew a, a penalty. Don't you guys want to play football? No, gave them new life. And they marched right down the field with Terry Nelson scoring on a 15-yard touchdown run. Number 64, Pinto will be kicking the ball off. Deep to number 22 for the Buena Bulldogs. That's Jeff Freeland. And number 21, Sean, excuse me, we're going to get that right this time. Number 22, Chris Gooch. And number 21, Sean Zintz. Pinto's kick is up. It'll go to Zinch, number 21, at the 4. He's at the 10. He's at the 15, to the 20, to the 25. He's found an open right on the left side, down to the 35-yard line, and a great run back for Sean Zinch, number 21. Good blocking up front by the Buena Special Teams unit. Knocked down by Manuel Tabula. Sean Zinch picks up. Sean Zinch out to, they'll call it the 30, we'll call it the 36-yard line. Here's Nelson taking that pitch, running around the right side to make the score 17 to seven here at Larrabee Stadium. Michelle brings his point of Bulldogs out in the wishbone, keeps the ball, he's dropped behind the line of scrimmage for a loss of about three or four yards. And it looks like the uh, Camarillo Scorpions are fired up. Well, I think they realized that in the first half, they let Buena come back with two minutes left in the first half, and they don't want to see him come back, in, in the, particularly in the third quarter here with another drive. 
It will be second down. We'll call it 14 yards to go for the first down. Michelle has his troops out, flanked wide, right, and left. One man in the backfield. He's back to pass, going for his number 81 wide receiver left. He stays up to the 40, to the 45, down, all the way to the 49-yard line. Good balance. Good luck. Good luck. Scooter Coleman, wide receiver, threw a short, uh, what they call it, look to him pass or even a hitch. Made a couple of moves, a couple of tackles there, and he picked up the additional yardage. Scooter 6'3", 165 pounds. Scooter flank left, the give is up the middle, no. Michelle keeps the ball around the left-hand side, he's down to the 40, down to the 35, found an open blocker, he may go, no. He stopped at about the 28-yard line. It looked like a busted play, Sam, and he decided to keep it, and he made some good yards. Well, they had a fullback trap up the middle, and somehow they missed the exchange. And instead of trying to hand it off and risk a fumble, he, he stayed with it. We're going to watch that on the instant replay here. We'll see exactly how, how the blocking did. You're blocking the entrance. You need to move your car. We'll take a look at that right after this. Michelle with his troops out at the 28-yard line. Flankers wide right and left. Back to pass, looking for the wide man left. Going to be trapped behind the line all the way back to the 36-yard line. By Dan Soto, number 87. Number 87, Dan Soto. Breaking through there to sack Wagner. Excuse me, sack Michelle. We're going to take a look at that replay, Sam, if you'll comment on that. Here's, here it is right here. Well, here it is. It's in there. Quick trap up the middle, and I don't know if Michelle turned the wrong way or the fullback went on the wrong side of him, but they collided with each other and rather risked the fumble like we said previously, kept the ball and went for additional yards. And it was a good, ended up a good play. It'll be second down about 15. Again, Michelle is trapped behind the line, and it just looks like the Camarillo Scorpions are blowing by those offensive guards and tackles on the left side. Paul Wade, number 88, linebacker blitz on, and they were in the right defense. Uh, Brennan was running a wish corner back to the weak side. And Wade came in there and went right in there. Mr. Michelle and said, how do you do it? How do you do this? The guard on that side, Eric Montgomery, number 68, number 51 is the tackle, Andy Wadsworth. Michelle brings his troops up. He'll line them up wide right. Number 81, Harrison is off, excuse me, Scooter Coleman is off to your left. Big pass down the middle, throwing to number 44 for the Buena Bulldogs and complete Chet Browser. Chet, Chet Brower all the way down to the 20 yard line, close to the first, yard, first down. It'll be short by, I think, about a half a yard. They're gonna bring the chains out. Looks like it's about a half a yard short. It'll be a half a yard short of the first down. Fourth down, it looks like Buena's gonna go for it. Fourth down, but it looks like the dogs are going for it. The Bulldogs trailing in this ball game here in the third quarter, 17 to seven. Number 81, Scooter Coleman will be flanked out wide to the left. Number 84, Matt Fawcett will be flanked wide to the right in the wishbone. Michelle goes for it himself up the middle. It looks like he might have picked up the needed yardage for the first down. As soon as they unpile all those players, we'll be able to see. A couple of players on the Camarillo team thinks that he might have came up short. But Michelle taking a good strong look at it himself trying to make sure that he's not cheated, and it looks like that the Buena Bulldogs do have the first downs in. That'll be one of the simplest playing football. The shortest distance between two points. Right over center, went right over uh, Don Benton, the center, and the uh, left, left guard there, I believe it's uh, uh, Dave Bauman. So with a first down here on the, we'll call it the 19-yard line, Michelle has number 44 in motion left. The pitch is to number 31. Excuse me, number 21. That's John Vince. Vince picks up maybe two, maybe three, maybe four yards. Looks like it's going to be five yard pickup where it will be second down and about five yards to go for the Buena Bulldogs as they look like they're going to march right down the field and possibly pick up a score themselves. Number 88 for the Bulldogs coming in to replace Matt Fawcett. That's Kurt Allison. Scooter Coleman, number 81, flanked wide right. Three receivers out, flanked to the right side. One man in the backfield, one lone setback. Michelle back, looking over to his left. 
a great pass to number 80, that's Jeff Dominic. And it looked like it's just a little slam over the middle, Sam. That's correct. When it came out, you know, what we call trips right. The whole series where three receivers to the right side, they used, utilized the three receivers trying to shift the Camarillo defense. Meaning if you have all your people on the right-hand side, you have one and only wide receiver back to the weak side. At which time, they get a one-on-one -on -one coverage. And all they did was run a simple slant in pattern and he beat the coverage man for man. Jeff Dominic beat his, beat the uh, safety on that one. 17 to 13 right now. Michelle with a point after, it's good. 17 to 14. Here in the third quarter. Let's take a look at that touchdown run again. Sam here on the instant replay. Here's we've Michelle got, calling the signals. They've got three right. He'll sprint to the right, and then he'll look back to the left. And simple slamming pass. He hits number 88, Kurt Allison. 5'11", 160 pounds. He's a senior from Buena High School. And it looks like he scored his first touchdown of the season. 17 to 14 here in the third quarter. Now, wait a second. You stand corrected. He's the one that took the ball away for the first touchdown. Oh, that's right. Exactly. In the, uh, second quarter. But not only can he take it away from him, he can beat him to the inside. That's correct. Fine receiver. Two touchdowns for the So the Scorpions will have number 12 back to receive the kickoff. Number 12, Jim Price. Also back there, number 41 for the for the Scorpions. That's Larry Claude. Kicking off for the point of Bulldogs will be Lance Fortin. Fortin does the kicking off, and Michelle does the point after. Here's Fortin's kick. It'll be taken by number 12, Price, at about the goal. No, it will not be taken by Price. It'll be picked up by Clody. Clody picks it up. He's down to the 15, down to about the 17-yard line. We have flags flying everywhere. Fortin's kick is returned to about the 18-yard line. We have a ton of flags on the play. We're not sure exactly what the penalty is going to be. I'm not sure whether or not there is a penalty at all. Number 41, Larry Clody brought it back all the way to the 18-yard line where the Camarillo Scorpions will take over take first over and 10, 10 on the 18-yard line. Both teams have great drives in the second half. They've been able to go up and down the field so far. It looks like the defense is going to have to come alive here. Wagner with Blair flanked out to the right side. Number 20, Palmer behind him, and number 32, Terry Nelson. They give it to Palmer up the middle. He stopped at the line of scrimmage and maybe lost a couple. That was a, that successful play that they've been running for a uh, drive where they scored the touchdown. This time, uh, they stopped Palmer. Uh, I think they were looking for it. They thought he was ready for it that time. It will be second down. We'll call it 10 yards to go. We have a timeout. As we have that timeout, we'll take a look at that uh, instant replay of that fumble that we could. We'll be talking to other people down in the uh, down in the truck. At the end of the third quarter, that's exactly what it is. As we don't have a, a clock, it's kind of difficult to tell what the time factor is here. But at the end of the third quarter here at Larrabee Stadium, the Buena Bulldogs have come back to score their own touchdown in the third quarter. And they still trail, though, 17 to 14. Camarillo Scorpions will be on the right portion of the screen. Running east, excuse me, running west to east with the Bulldogs in black. Defending. So after three quarters of play, Sam, how would you evaluate this football game? Well, I think Buena was didn't have field position in the first half, so they couldn't do the things they wanted to do. But this second half, they came out and made their own field position, and they're back in this ball game, 17-14. Wagner like with number 86, Tom Ott playing to the left. He's back to pass, looking for that side of the field. The pass is to. Incomplete to number 42, Wade Blair. And it really looked like Blair took his eye off just at the last second as number 63 for the Buena Bulldogs came in to, to knock that ball away from him, and that's Ruben Carmona. Ruben coming over from his linebacker position. It will be second down. We'll call it third down here 
at the 19-yard line. We're going to show you that fumble right now in just a second to see what's going on, and we'll be able to uh, show you that in just a second. It will be third down. We'll call it third down and nine. Cavalier leading here in the fourth quarter, 17 to 14. Waiting for Wagner to bring his, his squad out. We're going to take a look at that fumble right now. Actually, it was an incomplete pass. We got some wrong information, and it was incomplete. Got to get some cameramen. <laughs> Wagner back to pass, looking for an open man. He's going to be trapped behind the line of scrimmage, dropped at the eight-yard line. Dropped in this from his linebacker spot on a blitz in the open middle. Didn't see him coming. Tried to get away from him one time, but he didn't have enough luck, so the kicking team for the Camarillo Scorpions will come out and try to kick the ball away. Now, this is one time that Buena will have good field position should they not fumble it away. Correct. Or rough the kicker. Or rough the kicker. 17 to 14 here in the opening moments of the fourth quarter here at Laramie Stadium. Channel 6 brings you the game of the week. The Buena Bulldogs and the Camarillo Scorpions. The Scorpions up 17-14. Number 64, Pinto will be doing the kicking for the Scorpions. We do have a timeout on the field. Timeout, Bulldogs. Looks to me that Buena only had 10 people on the field. So instead of taking the penalty, they decided to call the timeout, which they could use later on, I'm sure, but they decided to go ahead and take the timeout now. It's been a good game here at Larrabee Stadium. Bulldogs losing right now 17 to 14. I'm sure head coach Mike Oldie in his first year at, at Buena is looking for that first win and will probably Probably need that timeout a little bit later. But back to action now. Pinto back to kick, sending two yards inside his own end zone. Here's the kick. Taken by number 21, Sean Sense. Sense is down to the 40, down to the 45, breaks one tackle, two tackles, down to the 34 yard line. 33-yard line where the Buena Bulldogs will take over first and 10. And he always looks like he's just about one tackle or one shot away from breaking it. That's correct. He's very far running back. He's going to get the ball too much in this game. And I expect during the course of the season that uh, he'll be toting the mail for Buena. So Matt Michelle, number seven, brings his Buena Bulldogs out to the line. He'll be lining up number 84. Matt Fawcett to the right side. The give is up the middle to number 33. Dana Gibson, Gibson all the way down to the 23-yard line. Call it the 22-yard line. They will mark it at the 23. It will be second down and about two yards to go. And then trips right, three wide receivers to the right, lone fullback, and they just hand it up the middle to him. Fine blocking by uh, Carl Husted from Buena. And also the uh, center. Number 88, Kurt Allison, plays to the right side. The wishbone backfield. The give is up in number 33. Dana Gibson up the middle again. He's down to about the 19-yard line. So Dana Gibson coming in here in the sec in the second half and picking up some good yardage the first couple of times. He carries the ball. It will be first and ten. Buena picks up the first down, marching down the field. I would say right now, Sam, rather handily. They're moving the ball. They go. We got a little drive going here. We put some fresh people in there on the uh, offensive line. They're getting off the football. Number 81 split left. That is Scooter Coleman. Number 84 flanked right. The give is to number 30. I'll have to wait and see on that one. Not sure exactly who picked up that ball. Number 21 Sean Zint is the ball carrier. It will be second down. No gain. Second down and 10 for the Bulldogs. Number 88, Allison flanked to the right side. Number 81, Coleman flanked to the left side, along with number 44, Chet Bauer. And number 21, Sean Zinn. 
Matt Michelle at the signals. He's dropping back, getting some protection, a little crossing pattern, the same one he scored on in the third quarter to number 88, Kurt Allison. This time it doesn't work, Sam. Exact same play they were looking for. They had linebacker dropping off that time. Three receivers to one time, try to come back with the slanting pass to the other side, meaning that they have single coverage on that. But the linebacker was smart enough and recognized it and dropped off to help out. So it will be third down from the 19-yard line. Third down and 10 for the Buena Bulldogs. Wishbone, backfield. The Brady one, Coleman playing to the left side. The pitch is back inside to number 25. He fumbles the ball, being be recovered by number 21 for the Camarillo Scorpions, and that is none other than Sean Forster. Sean is defensive back for the Camarillo Scorpions. So the Scorpions stop the Buena Bulldogs just as you thought they were about to score, and they will take over on the eight-yard line, first and ten. That was a good-looking play. They ran a reverse, picked up the yardage, and all just split it out. We've had a total of four fumbles here tonight. Three by Camarillo, that being the first one by Buena. So Wagner brings his troops out. Number 80 flanked wide to the left. That's Leroy Hairston. Number 42 is flanked wide to the right, Wade Blair. The give is up the middle of number 20, Palmer. Palmer takes the ball out to about the 12, 13 yard line. He'll pick up maybe three, four yards. It'll be second down and seven. Dave DeSoto with a fine block, just a straight drive block. Straight run up the middle, get him out of the hole so we can do something different. It's good to see that DeSoto is back in there. He was hurt earlier in the uh, first quarter and had to come out of the ball game. Oh, wait a second, maybe I'll... It's 72. That's uh, Scott Potter. So the pitch back to number 32, Nelson. Nelson takes the ball on a rather high delivery from Wagner. He manages to get back to about the 11-yard line. He might have lost a yard. Honestly, they were switching uh, tackles on him. Come on, guys, stay straight down there. <laughs> they flip-flopped their tackles on a particular play. It will be third down. Third down, we'll, we'll call it seven yards to go for the Camarillo Scorpions. And if the Buena Bulldogs can stop them now, they again would be in good field position after the, uh, after the kick by the, by the Camarillo Scorpions, should they decide to kick the ball. Wagner back, getting strong pressure from number 36, and that's Hernandez. Mike Hernandez, number 36, coming in to stop Wagner at about the three-yard line. So Hernandez comes in, stops Wagner at about the two, we'll call it. We'll call it the three-yard line. It'll be fourth down. Pinto will come in to kick for the Camarillo Scorpions right now. He'll be backed up all the way up. It looks like he'll be kicking from about one yard inside the out-of-bounds line in the goal line area. Number 21, Sean Vince will be back to receive the punt. Timeout has been called, and the Camarillo Scorpions will take that timeout. The score here in the fourth quarter at Larrabee Stadium, ladies and gentlemen, 14 for the Bell, excuse me, Buena Bulldogs, and 17 for the Camarillo Scorpions. So we are, well, they started to come back to action. I think the referee told them they were going to have to take just a little more time. That coach OG out there on the field, he's in, all the way inside the huddle there. Come on, Mike, you passed your playing days. Now, is he supposed to be out there? Is that allowed? That's the first time I've seen a coach come that far out on the field. High school rules, yes. So, with the difference of high school, college, and professional football, you see Coach Mike Olge out on the field talking with his Buena Bulldogs, giving them some last-minute instructions as the Cabriel Scorpions prepare to boot the ball away. Number 64, Pinto, will be doing the kicking. Number 21, Sean Zenz, will be back to take the, the punt return. Zinth has made a couple of good runs, Sam, when he's had his, uh, had his hands on the ball. Well, since the shift is back, he's got a good balance. Zinth will be taking the ball around the 35-yard line with Pinto standing just about a yard inside the out-of-bound goal line there. And a snap. The rush by Buena is a strong one. It's going to drive Zinth 
back to about the 50-yard line. He's to the 45 looking for some running room, down to the 40, found a couple of running room, down to the 35, and he picked up 15 yards, but he probably shouldn't have picked up a maybe 10. Great move. So with nobody back to block for him, he had to get it all on his own. And Sean Sins, number 21 for the Buena Bulldogs, does a fine job picking up 15 yards, taking the ball back to the 35-yard line, where Buena will take over first and 10. They had a golden opportunity the last time they were down there, only to fumble the ball away. But the Camarillo Scorpions could not capitalize, and the Bulldogs take over again on the 35. The give is up. The middle to number 21, Vince. Vince trying to advance the ball a little bit by sheer trickery, but it doesn't work. The referee standing right there. So Buena will pick up two yards. It will be second down and eight yards from, we'll call it the 34-yard line. So Camarillo with a couple of bad breaks, Sam. Looks like they're going to have to rise to the occasion, as it were to be able to stop the Buena Bulldogs. They seem to have the momentum right now. So we have flankers wide to the right and to the left. Trips to the right with a lone setback. Michelle back looking for number 84. That's the man who scored the two touchdowns point earlier. Number 84, Tom Legasic. Maybe we're wrong on that. Number 88 was our two touchdown man. Legasic off to the left. Tom Legasic, number 84, just couldn't come up with that one. So it will be third down. They tried to pull a little trickery on the cornerback uh, over there, um, Cameron. they have been running inside. They tried to run him outside that time and throw over his head, thinking that he was going to come inside. So we're heavy to the left side. Michelle back. He got his gift to... Number 20 up the middle again, over that number 21. Nope, number 36, Mike Hernandez. You have to ask yourself what Wayne is going to do. Right now they're going to take a timeout and try to figure out exactly what they want to do. Coach Mike Goldie calling his quarterback sophomore Matt Michelle over to talk things over with him. He's losing right now, 17 to 14 here in the fourth quarter. Time is running out. I'm sure that we have at least six minutes left, although I'm not sure exactly the time. 17 to 14 in favor of Camarillo. Looks like Camarillo, they could hold on. They could uh, return the favor from Buena that, uh, that uh, excuse me, that Buena beat them last year. Well, they're Matt in good field position. They're in good field position. Matt Michelle, I think I said with a sophomore, he is wrong. He is a senior. It will be Ventura High School who is going to be the sophomore quarterback this year. We do have time out on the field. The score is 17 to 14 here at Larry Stadium. If you joined us, I'm Wayne Gordon along with Sam Stefanovich here at Larry Stadium. We give you all the action here in the game of the week between the Play the Bulldogs. And the Cabrillo Scorpion. Well, we're fourth down. He's this far down in, it doesn't look like he's going to go for the field goal. I think it's a little bit late for my play. It looks like they may go to the slant and again to number 88, one that they scored on a couple of times before. We'll see. Michelle back to pass, looking for number 88. Can't find him, little hook pattern. He finds him now, down to out of bounds. We'll call it the 20 yard line. It will be enough for the first down. So he goes with his reliable wide receiver number 88. Kurt Allison. Kurt Allison. And he picks up the first down all the way to the 20-yard line. So instead of going out, though, and slanting in that time, he took a little fake to the inside and then just curled, it looked like. That's correct. It's a good play. They got man-on-man -man coverage out here. The give is up to middle number 36 to Hernandez. And then it's down to about the 17-yard line. And this is just about the position they were in the last time they had the ball down in here before they fumbled it away. They came in with the reverse. Well, let's see what they do down here. Head coach Mike Olgy is not afraid to uh, to try something out there. He told me earlier that he will be he'll be doing a lot of stunning. He'll be doing a lot of things in that in that offensive scheme to try to put some points up on the scoreboard. 17 to 14 here in the fourth quarter. 
the Amarillo Scorpions ahead, leading the Buena Bulldogs. Again, we have number 88. Out to the right. That's Kurt Allison, flanked out wide right. The Gibson Hernandez up the middle, looks like he may score. He's down to the five, the four to the three to the two, he scores! And Buena has taken the lead here at Laramie Stadium. For the first time this evening, Mike Hernandez going both ways, takes the handoff from Matt Michelle and goes and scores from 17 yards out. Great blocking up there, they ran it. Off tackle play, high formation. We're going to be taking a look at that replay, I think, in just a minute, right after we see the point after touchdown. A great run by Hernandez. Matt Michelle will be... Big old hole open up there. Big old hole open. Michelle back to do the point after kicking. Number 88, Kurt Allison, will be holding. At least you know that Allison has good hands. He's already scored two touchdowns this evening. A snap, the kick by Michelle. It's up, it's good. And the point of Bulldogs take the lead for the first time this evening, 21 to 17 over the Camarillo Scorpion. And Sam, we want to take a look here at this instant replay as soon as it comes up on our monitor. Here it is. Go ahead and comment. Well, they're just running the uh, off tackle to uh, Hernandez. Here's the gift to Hernandez. This is open shot, full back body. Right in there. Everybody opening it up. 17-yard touchdown run by Mike Hernandez for the Buena Bulldogs. So the Buena Bulldogs will kick it off to the Camarillo Scorpions. Number 12, Price is back for the Scorpions, along with number 41, Clojie. And they're going to have to come alive. They've dominated the game at least for the first half, and it looked like coming out of the third quarter they would continue to do so. But Buena Bulldogs have come alive and have scored the last two touchdowns. A 17-yard run by Mike Hernandez, as well as a touchdown pass to number 88, Allison. So doing the kicking for the Buena Bulldogs, kicking the ball off anyway. That's a good blocking on that last touchdown play by uh, Ruben Carmona, the linebacker going both ways. They have two players on both squads going both ways. Must have been those athletes, they have to be in superb shape to do that. You don't see that these days, not every day. That's Borton with the kickoff. It'll be short, it'll be taken by the up back number 42. That's Blair Wade, excuse me, Wade Blair. Blair takes the ball out to, well, about the 32 yard line where he was stopped by number 30 for the Bulldogs. That's Larry Kine. And number 33 for the Bulldogs, Manuel Tubulo. So the Scorpions are going to have to get on track. They're losing in this ball game now, 21 to 17, after leading the game for most of four quarters. The Bulldogs have come back to take that lead, 21 to 17. Blanked out wide right. In the eye backfield, Wagner gives the ball to number 32, Nelson. Nelson, flag on a play, is down to the 40. He's broke a tackle. He's down to the 30, to the 45, all the way out to the 50-yard line. But I think they're going to bring it back, Sam. Somebody got caught holding. Now, in a play like that, where they uh, they do run the the tailback wide right, so I guess it is a good time to uh, or a good opportunity to see some holding. Yes. When you when your tailback's seven yards away, and you got to sustain your block longer than you really want to, because the tailback takes a while to get up to that line of scrimmage, and you slide off your uh, block, you're gonna have to do something to uh... So the ball will be taken all the way back to the 16-yard line. So you just reach out and kind of grab him just for a second and hope the referee doesn't see you. <laughs> and this time he was caught. Yes, major penalty like that really sets you back and also sets the coaches back the next day when they watch the game film. Explain that to it. <laughs> you know, they do a lot of barking the next day and he was holding. <laughs> sure, a lot of uh, coaches there that would tell him exactly what he should have done then. Yes, number one, <laughs> don't hold. Don't hold, and if you do, don't get caught. That's it. About three minutes left here in the fourth quarter. Why not leading this ball game, 21 to 17. Wagner coming back from an injury suffered last year, had his Camarillo Scorpions out in the lead at one time, but now he's fallen behind. In the I formation, Laker right, another penalty to give us up to the middle to number 32 Nelson, but again, I think it's all for naught. 
Somebody, I think, was holding again. Referee indicated the illegal procedure. Well, you can't be right all the time. Either they're holding or they're in motion. That seems to be the two penalties that has been called in the majority of the time tonight against the uh, Cameroon of Scorpion. Well, first game of the season, the Lions are that. A good looking ball club, man. That's just one of two fine football teams. Very well coached. Some of the coaches that they have on each team have had the opportunity to, uh, to either play against, play with, or coach against. Turn over to Charlie Preston, Mike Glenn, Mark Hamrick, Art Peter from the Cameroon Hill. Buena has Preston Davis. Some real fine coaches here on the field tonight. The give is up to number 20, Palmer. He breaks a couple of tackles, but he doesn't break them enough. He's up to the 15-yard line. After all that running, he might have picked up two yards. It will be third down. Third down, we'll call it 24 yards to go. It's a real tough running back there. Number 20, Palmer, 5'8", only a junior. So he's getting the experience that will obviously or hopefully pay off for him in his senior year. So Wagner has two receivers split wide, right and left. He's back to pass, looking for his receivers over the middle. It will go to the right side. The throw to number 85 is late, Mark Camper. Good defense by number 15 for the Breda Bulldogs. That's Lance Horton, number 22 again, Chris Gooch. With three minutes left to go in the ball game. Want to drop back off on their defense. Camarino, Wagner had a lot of time to throw the football, just couldn't find an open receiver. Almost threw an interception. And that's all they need. They don't need, I should say. All the way back down on the 15-yard line, they cannot afford an interception at this stage of the game. At this time, they're losing 21 to 17. I look, I look forward to seeing the screen or a drop play right here. Before. Sam called the screen or a drop. He's back to pass, looking for his receiver. Looks like we've got a bump and shove down here. I don't see any flags, but it looked like number 82 for the Camarillo Scorpions might have bumped into that defending back. Matt Pearson, number 82, bumping Chris Gooch. They call a pass interference penalty earlier in the game. This time it looks like it might have been an offensive penalty, but they did not throw the flag. So it will be fourth down for the Camarillo Scorpions. We have two minutes and 50 seconds left here in the ball game here at Larrabee Stadium. The Bulldogs leading 21 to 17. They were losing throughout three quarters and part of the fourth quarter, but came back to score two touchdowns in the third quarter and fourth quarter to take the lead 21 to 17. Joey was an abused child. Well, come if you win by 10 points or one point. As long as you win that ball game. It's a win and loss column. And I'm sure Mike Oldie will be very, very happy to get this one behind him. Going on enough to feel like that. I think he still wants to play. <laughs> he still has the spirit. Coming into this ball game, Wagner, the quarterback for Camarillo, had all the press as far as being the better quarterback. I think Michelle tonight has shown that he is a top-notch qual quality quarterback also. So Boyd is going to let the ball roll all the way back down to the 28-yard line. Nobody back there to catch the ball. I think it will happen just like Sam Sudonov. It says they will try to run the, the clock out with some running plays. We're going to see right now. As the ball changes hands, the uh, Bulldogs lead 21 to 17. Excuse me, Sam. Go ahead. Oh, excuse me, Woody. I don't think that that was a very smart idea on Bulldogs' part to let the ball roll all the way down there. If uh, Ken Rio has uses, utilizes their timeouts correctly and their defense holes, they're going to be in fairly good position. They let the ball roll all the way down to their own 27-yard line. So instead, they might have just taken the ball, like you said, on the 50. They would have had good field position, and if they lost it, they would have given the uh, Scorpions a longer way to go. That's correct. The ball is given to number 36, Hernandez, up the middle. As Sam said, it looks like they're going to be just running the ball out. 2.15 left to go in the game. Clock is running. 2.15 left in the ballgame. Clock is running. He's going to have to come up with a big play right now, as they did in the second quarter. Excuse me, in the first quarter when they blocked the punt, but I don't know if they're going to get that chance. Coming in right now, number 88, Allison, who scored two touchdowns tonight, giving the play to Michelle, number seven. Matt Michelle. Do you think the uh, name Michelle is familiar? He has had a couple of brothers who have played football. One just recently with the Ventura College Pirates. 
He also has a brother that played former professional football. I'm sure he's a friend of yours, Sam. Oh, yeah, Mike. Very fine kicker. Kicker is pretty well for Eagles. We had a chance to meet Mike uh, at the All-Star game. We had a chance to chat with him for just a couple of minutes. 140 left in the ball game right now. Camarillo losing. They're going to have to do something here in the closing moments. Matt Michelle calling just the right signals for the Buena Bulldogs. There's 140 left. He brings his troops up. They're looking for their first one of the season. Number 88, Allison, flanked out wide left. They have three flankers wide to the, to the left-hand side. I should say Allison flanked wide to the right. Michelle back looking for his over. Good pass. Good catch to number 44. And that was... I'll get his name for you in just to have a second. Number 44, Chet Brower. That was a big play. Camarillo could have held on that play, but it would have been forced to punt, and Camarillo would have had a chance to come back on offense. But as, as it was, it really surprised me that they would throw the football in that situation. 55 seconds left in the ball game. And if they hadn't thrown that ball and had completed that pass, they would have been in the position that Sam told you about a couple of minutes ago. And that would have been of kicking the ball away to Camarillo and giving Camarillo good field position. But that's all for naught. As we have a timeout right now, Michelle calls timeout with a first down with about 55 seconds left in the ball game. I'm sure he wants to go over and talk with head coach Mike Olge. Olge wants to make sure right now that nothing goes wrong. He can see, he can taste that victory, the first victory in his long coaching career, at least right here on the high school level. There he goes again, he's walking out there. He wants to make sure everybody hears it. You tell him, Mike. <laughs> Mike Olge, a fine young man from Buena High School. He coached last year for the Ventura College Pirates. He's had a long experience. He played at Buena High School. He coached for Ventura College. He's been coaching for all 15 years. This year, he's going to get a chance to be the head coach at Buena High School. He has his brother down there, August, who is also helping him coach. He's a big boy, too. He really is. I had a chance to talk to him the other day. Oh, he looks like he might have played some football with somebody. Yeah, he did. I think he had a knee injury, if I'm not mistaken. Sam, we have a timeout right now. Let's talk about the United States football league. Now, they're going to be opening training at Tom Horse. We talked with him a couple of weeks ago, and Tom said he'll be going to training camp in January. And uh, what do you think about the United States football league? Will it, will it make it? Well, uh, the old AFL. Everybody said they'd never make it. And they merged. Teams uh, like New York Giant, the Jets and the Oakland Raiders, the old AFL teams, and they became the, into the NFL. I think that they have a good, good chance, good uh, potential. And after the World Football League collapsed, I think that this one will be uh, might be the league that will take, take effect. Using different towns, different cities, a a more funds in the key before they start. Well, the hunger for football, I would say, is year-round. You know, when football season is over, it really does create a, uh, a void in a lot of folks' life. Yeah, I don't know how that's going to go uh, with the, the home life and whatever, but there's people that enjoy that. Uh, men men as uh, well as women, for that matter. Well, I'm sure that uh, it will probably help your business, you know, as you're the owner of Sam Saloon and Oxnard. Uh, you show Monday Night Football over there. Oh, we have five TVs, and we get all the crazies down there. We, uh, Suck back a few drinks and uh, eat the old popcorn and hot dogs and get right into it. We're going to have to come down and join you on Monday Night Football to, uh, to get some of those hot dogs. So we do have a timeout on the field. We've got about 34 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. And uh, continuing now, Sam, with our conversation about the United States Football League, it will, I think it will give a lot of folks a chance to play that might just have come within a hair of making, you know, one of the NFL teams. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of people walking the streets. Like a gentleman like Tom Forrest, a very good athlete, just didn't get the right breaks, the right opportunity to play in the different teams that uh, he tried out for. And this just gives him another opportunity to hopefully uh, make the squad in Chicago. Well, he's going to uh, be heading down there in January. He told me that they've got a 14-year veteran uh, just released this year from the NFL. Greg, uh, Greg Landry will be... Uh, I don't know if he'll be the starting quarterback. At least they'll both be going into camp. I saw Tom throwing it last couple of days out of Ventura College where he's the quarterback coach, and he's got a good arm. He does. You know, he can throw the ball a long way. He's a good football player. And he really drills those wide receivers down there. He's a good football player. He gets the right break, right chance. He'll be there. Back to action. It looks like Michelle is not going to do anything. It looks like he's going to run the ball game out. We've got about 30 seconds left. He's just going to take the ball and fall on it. 
So it looks like that Mike OG is satisfied. Looks like he's satisfied to just fall on the ball and take this first win of the 1982 season, Sam, away and take it home with him and win 21 to 17. Although we do have a couple of seconds left. Uh, I, th I think the lights are out. <laughs> is it time to sing? Yeah. Lights are out. Pull the jukebox. Time to hit it home. And that's the end of the ball game, ladies and gentlemen, because of our clock, we weren't sure, but the point of Bulldogs has made a very fine come from behind victory to defeat the Cavalry of Scorpions 20, 21 to 17 on two touchdowns to Allison, number 88, that pulled it out for them. I think we'll take right now, we'll talk to Sam Sazanovich and ask him to kind of wrap up the ball game for us to tell us what you thought of it. Well, on the opening drive, Camarillo really took it to the uh, Buena. Went down, scored a touchdown. Buena never got in any good field position the rest of that first half. He came back at the close of the first half, running a lot of, uh, started in a triple set. Three receivers to one side, started working a short game, moved down the field, scored right at the end of the half. And I went down to the two locker rooms. Camarillo was upset that they felt they gave him that last touchdown, let up a little bit. Whereas, in Buenos locker room, they knew they could move the ball again. They came out that second half, came down, scored again. Camarillo came back again, scored back and forth. And, but I think uh, Buena had a little more confidence in the offense. Their defense uh, came together a little bit. And, uh, with that uh, triple set that they were running, and, uh, gave Camarillo a little bit of a problem on offense, uh, defense. Uh, made it spread out a little bit. And they started losing those receivers quite well. So Michelle found Allison for a couple of times. What do you think about Allison? First time he, he took the first uh, touchdown, he actually took it away from the defender. And then on the second touchdown, he just went on a little slant in, faked the defender, and went inside to score. Good combination. Show it Allison. Good combination. We, send it, we always send him up on the single receiver side. We send another three receivers to one side and let him go one-on-one. -on -one. So they consider him to have the best moves, which uh, was evident tonight. Well, it was a good game. We've enjoyed it. The first game of the season for the 1982 football season is over. The Buena Bulldogs have defeated the Camarillo Scorpions. For Sam Stefanovic here at Larrabee Stadium, I'm Woody Morgan. Thank you for joining us here on the Channel 6 Game of the Week. exciting affair. Oxnard Yellow Jackets, they have the top running back in, this, in the county of Ventura right now. We're talking about a, a very fine tailback, number 30, Richard Barber, but uh, we'll be seeing a lot of him. Right now, we're going to be able to see the Buena Marching Band, and when we do that, we'll be showing that here on Cable Channel 6. I'm Woody Morgan. That's the thing about football, is that you can always be surprised, because as you can, Hernandez is coming, and as captains for the Buena Bulldogs, along with the referees, They'll be going and uh, for the coin toss. We'll be giving you the referees' names in just a couple of moments. But the coaching staff, we want to introduce those to you right now from, from the Buena Bulldogs. Head coach, like we said, is Mike Olde, along with his brother, August Olde. They, another assistant coach, along with Steve McFadden and Bob Fortin, Dr. Bob Fortin, and Jeff Anderson. Those are the folks that make up the coaching staff for the, for the Buena Bulldogs. On the other side of the team... And also, as soon as we get his number, I think that's Russell Johnson, number 14. The kickoff will be taken up early back to the 35, going to be taken down to about the 36-yard line. Brian Harrison taking the ball back, like we said, to the 36. And then the Buena Bulldogs defense, like we told you. They'll be starting with some folks that are that are hurt, starting with some folks that are new to the lineup, so we'll be able to see what exactly is going on. So quarterback Sam New brings his Oxnard Cougars to the, to the line. Here's the quick pitch up the middle. He's going to catch maybe three, maybe four yards. They give us to number 42. That's Alan Gilbert running at the fullback position. Number 19 in the backfield, Sam New at quarterback position. Number 42, as we told you, is Alan Gilbert. He'll be at the fullback position. Also in there, number 30 for the, boy, excuse me, for the Oxnard Yellow Jackets is Richard Barber, the leading rusher for the high school athletes here in 1982 in the Channel League season, Ventura County rushers. The pitch is back to Barber. Barber, number 30, is out to about the 44-yard line where he stopped. 
by number 43 for the Buena Bulldogs. Excuse me, number 45, Mark Anderson. Mike Hernandez also in on the tackle, number 36. Well, Barber has fine speed. 10.42 left here in the first quarter. Third down and five on the 43-yard line for the Oxnard Yellow Jackets. As we've said, 3-0 and on the regular season, this being their first, first regular season. And number 30, Barber tried to go off tackle left, smothered in there by the Buena Bulldogs, who seem to come up to rise to the occasion. Number 61, Cliff Sandoval, the nose guard, in there to make the tackle. It'll be a fourth and one, so Barber picks up three, maybe four yards. It'll be fourth and... Just a, just a couple anyway for the first down. And it certainly looks like they have a lot of faith in their offense coming out fourth down. They're going to try to go for it in the T formation. Now they're jumping back to the kicking position. Number 10 to do the kicking and we're talking about Ron Edwards. Edwards with a fine boot. Number 81, Scooter Coleman with the ball. Drops it. He's going to be a lot of company around the 20 yard line. A couple of flags being thrown now. Number 81, Scooter Coleman. So Boynton will take over first and 10. We'll see what that penalty is. In just a couple of minutes, they're gonna mark one off. It's five, 10 is going to be a big one, 15 yards. That'll take the ball all the way out to the Buena 41 yard line. Excuse me. It'll be the Buena 36-yard line where they will take over first and 10 for their first possession of the evening. And to tell you the truth, they've got great field position. So Lance Wharton comes out with the Buena Bulldogs, number 44 in motion. Excuse me, no, Matt Michelle is in there at number seven, the quarterback. Throwing down the wide to the number 84, wide open was Matt Fawcett. And that's a surprise. Number seven, Matt Michelle is starting for the, for the Buena Bulldogs tonight. That'll relieve Lance Fortin from going both ways. And this first time out, he goes back to pass and throws incomplete to number 84, Matt Fawcett. And I would have to say that that might have surprised the Oxnard Yellow Jackets because he was completely open. John, Sean Zintz in on the play. Number 14, Russell Johnson in on the play. And Scott so that'll bring up a third down situation for the Buena Bulldogs. Dropped all the way back to the 30-yard line. It will be third and 16 with nine minutes exactly left to play here in the first quarter for the Buena Bulldogs as Matt Michelle calls the play for the Bulldogs and brings them out. On the near side, number 81 for the Buena Bulldogs. We're talking about Scooter Coleman. He's off flanked wide left. Back to pass is Michelle looking over the middle, found a man and wide open, dropped the ball. In on the defensive tackle, number 19, Sam New. And also number 30 that we're talking about, Richard Barber. So that'll bring up a fourth down situation, fourth and 16 from the 30. And Buena will be forced to give up the ball. Back, like we said, for the Oxnard Yellow Jackets will be number 19, Sam New. So although the Buena Bulldogs have a lot of players going both ways, so do the Oxnard Yellow Jackets. And that's, that's going to be a long evening for all the athletes involved. Number 19, New, back to receive the kick from Buena. Not much of a rush. It's a big end-over-end -end kick. New coming up, calling the fair catch at about the 30.